Attention! The Eagles have just confirmed they released a player. Imagine signing a multi-million dollar contract with the hope that this guy would be the missing piece, only to see him cut without even playing a single down. This news caught all of us fans by surprise. But what could have led the Eagles to make such a drastic decision? But before we dive in, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Join our exclusive community and don't miss any important Philadelphia Eagles news. Stay informed every day. Now, back to the news. The Philadelphia Eagles officially announced the release of veteran linebacker Devin White this past Tuesday. The decision came right before a critical moment for the city, as the Philadelphia Phillies were gearing up for an important Game 3 in the playoffs against the New York Mets. This timing might have been strategic to minimize the impact of the news, but what really happened behind the scenes? When the Eagles signed White back in March, the one-year deal seemed promising. Four and a half million dollars total, with three and a half million guaranteed. He was seen as a sure starter for Week 1 and even took most of the first-team reps during preseason practices. But then, out of nowhere, things started getting weird. White was unexpectedly listed as out on the injury report before the regular season opener and didn't travel with the team for the game in Brazil. Soon after, rumors began circulating that he had lost the starting spot to Nako Dean, something that wasn't clear to everyone. Things only got worse from there. White didn't play in the next two games and, when he returned, he was listed as healthy but inactive. In the fourth game of the season, he was ruled out again for personal reasons. The turning point came during the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, when White shared, controversially, a retweet celebrating a strip sack by Levante David on quarterback Jalen Hurts. White tried to explain it away, saying he meant to just like the tweet, but the damage had already been done. From that point on, the relationship seemed beyond repair. Without making any meaningful contributions on the field and being just another name on the bench, the Eagles decided it was best to move on. However, the release came with a financial arrangement that allows the Eagles to get some relief if another team decides to pick him up. This clause helps mitigate some of the loss, but it's clear White didn't even come close to meeting the initial expectations. General Manager Howie Roseman now has another linebacker on his list of free agent signings that didn't work out. With White gone, the team is likely to focus on Nako Dean and Zach Bond as the starting linebackers, with Oren Burks, Ben Van Sumeren, and Jeremiah Trotter Jr. serving as backup options. Additionally, this open roster spot could speed up Sidney Brown's return or even give Aeneas Smith a shot. So, what do you think, Philly fan? Do you believe the Eagles should have kept Devin White on the roster and tried to work things out, or was this release the best move for the team to move forward? Join the discussion and share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button to be part of our exclusive community and get the latest and most important Philadelphia Eagles news firsthand. Don't forget to share this video with other die-hard Eagles fans. Until the next update, folks. Go Birds!